Good morning. Well, that's a deep subject. Uh. Hmm. I'm missing something. Maybe a couple things. <sighs> and I hate fiberglass. I mean, it don't rust, but man, you get really, really itchy. But I need to get this done. I need to get the mechanism stuff in here. That way I can latch it. Once I get it latched, then I can come through and start doing the body work on it. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of these blanks where the windows go. I don't know how they designed these. Reaching up in here, it's, it's almost like they're touching right here where the two panels were put together. I, I just don't know. I'm gonna have to probably just cut and get the pieces out of the way so I can see what they did. That might be fun. But I'm going to make it a little different because I'm not putting vent wings in. I got power window units and uh, I'm going to put the channel in the back for the back side of the glass and then in my storage unit, I got a couple more of those channels. I'm going to put one here and I'm going to take and make a template of the glass for a one piece glass. So there's going to be some modifications in here. Yeah, no big deal. When I do my door panel, I'm going to come up to here and all the way down to here. I want the whole thing covered. So, well, I guess it's no time like the present. And get these windows out of here. I'm gonna start on the driver's door, which I always say never do. I always say start on the passenger side. That way, by the time you screw up and fix it, you know what you're doing on the driver's side. <laughs> uh, oh, well. But I don't feel like moving the truck yet. I'm going to have to move the truck over to clear that. I'm going to get that rack off there. It, that thing's annoying. Every time I walk by it, I snag it. But uh, if you ever worked with fiberglass, you know... When you start cutting and stuff with it, that dust goes everywhere. That dust is very, very itchy. So I use baby powder. Put baby powder on you, on your skin. I even put some on my clothes. You can see it coming off there. Uh, it'll keep the itch down, keep it from getting into the pores of the skin. So that, that helps. All right, I am going to, you know, I think I'm going to grab the shop vac and see if I can't help keep some of that dust down. All right, I know it ain't going to do a whole lot, but it's got to help something. All right, I guess uh, time to get my mask on and 
see if I can't get some cut. Just a quick reminder, it is free to subscribe. Please help me grow the channel. Well, that was fun. Ugh. All right, now I gotta come back and clean that edge all the way around to where it's nice and flat. Same way with the inside. I'll probably do a little bit more cutting now that i know what's going on there is a gap in there which is good this should be like three quarters of an inch i believe for that glue or the uh felt to go in uh yeah this is gonna be fun nasty stuff man i hate fiberglass all right i'm gonna do a little bit more cutting and that shop back didn't do crap uh, i think i'll uh just cut and then open the doors let it air out the window felt channel stuff I've got no, I'm gonna call that 5 8 5 8 right there so this opening needs to be 5 8 of the fiberglass so they didn't put any provision in there to hold that channel that's gonna be fun okay um 
I think what's going to have to happen after I get this cleaned up and shaped the way I want it, I'm going to have to dirt glass in there to give a flat for the side of that to go on to. Great. Yeah, that's gonna be real fun. Alright. Guess I'll get to cleaning that up, get it ready. I think that's fairly close. I gotta do some cleanup on the inside edges here. But that gives me an idea of how it's supposed to be. Being fiberglass. It's a little weak. Outside is pretty stiff, but the inside hmm. yeah. I think I'm gonna have to do something to stiffen that up. I gotta do some thinking about that. Cause when I grab that door handle and go to pull this door. I don't want it flexing. That wouldn't be good. I don't know, I've never messed with fiberglass doors like this before. So, yeah, I think at this point I'm gonna go ahead and start getting my latch assembly together and I'm gonna have to do some thinking about this window situation. If any of you has uh, ever done something like this, hey, feel free to let me know because this is the first time I've ever done something like this. What better time I'm doing on my own, right? <laughs> uh, all right, well, let me know, guys, if uh, you have any pointers or tips or anything like that. Just drop it in the comments because, hey, the day you stop learning is the day you're useless. I always say you never stop learning a problem. So, all right. Well, I'm going to stop on that. And uh, I'm going to get my stuff out of that door, get ready to come over and start making my cutout patterns. It looks like they've got some uh, divots. I don't know what those are. Oh, that's for the vent wing to come down, which I ain't gonna need that. This is for the window crank mechanism, so honestly, I ain't gonna need that either. Because my window motor stuff should be about right in here somewhere. Honestly, all I need is the latch assembly. And they got divots there. Yeah. Alright, well I'll get set up to do that. I gotta go wash some of this fiberglass off of me.
if I can break it loose with a big bit.
now to get this transferred over to the fiberglass door. in there. Okay, now this one's an easy one. They got two dimples here. I don't know why they didn't mark the third one, but. Alright. And since there's no nut certs in the door. I'm gonna have to use a bolt and nut. Uh, I'll have to pick some short, probably Phillips head bolts. Right now I'm just gonna use this.
velocity with that carbon glass gets everywhere. Where's the hole? There you are. Door catch, which I've got to see if I've got some somewhere. I believe I do. Get the hole in there for that. And I've got to find my striker plate. Well, there is one more thing I can do here. Let's see if I can get one of these Vision in there. Hmm. Well, I don't feel like doing that today. That sucks. Well, uh, I can get the latch on there. And I guess move the truck and start on the other door. Get that, get it that far, anyways.
Let's see if the door will latch without jamming. Okay, so what's going on with that? Huh. The latch ain't releasing. Okay, there's a lock. And yes, these doors jam a lot, originally. Huh. to me. Okay, the button for the outside releases it no problem. So I need to shim that out. Okay, there's lock. That works. Ah, it just ain't pulling 
far enough. And that could be the way this is setting in here. Because I don't think it's setting back tight. I think I need to clean the back side of this out so this will set. You can see it's setting a little crooked. Ah, junk old fiberglass. Hate fiberglass. Yeah. It's looking like it's setting that way too far. All right, well, I guess I need to do this before I go doing any adjustment up here. Man, that wind is unreal out there. hitting them rivets and not letting it go in far enough. Okay. Well, they, they got marks. They've got marks there. It's just not divoted. Well, let's uh, put a divot in it. If we Get the door lined and then put it back on. I 
tech and the screw. Okay. Okay, let's uh, go to move this one back. Not that far. Turning into one of them days. Swig of my coffee. I'm gonna have to do some adjustment on this door to get it up and back in place. I could have swore I had this door where I wanted it, but I'm gonna put you all on time lapse while I do that. It might take me a minute.
as you can see, I didn't get it to start working. You do not want to shut this all the way in. Without rubber in there, they jam. I've had that issue with factory doors too. Body lines look pretty decent right there. I have to say, I would never do another set of fiberglass doors. They are turning into a nightmare. Yeah, they're lighter, but they're a lot more work. That's why I'm metal art, not fiberglass junk. Ugh. It is lined up pretty decent right there. And it latches and releases. So. I'm going to leave it right there. That's not bad. Just without rubber in there, you gotta really watch you don't go in too far. What it does is it pulls it in and latches against the last catch and there's no room for flex. With the rubber, you can push in and release. I don't know, I should have just upgraded to the bear claws in this one. Even the front body gap looks decent now. It's a little wide on the fender. I gotta push the fender back now. But these lines all look good. At least it's latched. I can go ahead and do the body work on it. Make sure everything's tight which I've only got one bolt in the top and bottom tight, so I'll get those tight so the door don't move. Another reason, even fiberglass, same as the aftermarket, even new OEM parts, you want to test fit this stuff. Could you imagine doing this after it was painted? Oh, yeah, that would be real fun. Okay. until I get the door catch, get another set of doors in here to get that plate that goes behind this so I can get my door handle cut in. Yeah, still not impressed with this. do the body work right there I'm still gonna do some thinking on this this here I just I don't know I'm not impressed 
personally I think this should have been a solid piece and then cut it out but that's just me I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that just yet I gotta do some thinking on it so what I think I'm gonna do is I am very itchy from messing with that even with baby powder you get itchy it just does uh, it helps so I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and get the fiberglass cut on this side that way I don't have to do that later I'm already itchy get it done now so yeah all right I'm gonna try to do this side just a little bit different see how that goes
Guys, that's not. Alright, that turned out a little bit better. I still got a little bit of cleanup in the corners. But, yeah, I'm done uh, wearing this crap. Even with the paint mask, I'm still, I can still taste it. So, yeah, I'm done. I'm going home. That's close enough for today. 
I hope everybody enjoyed the video of me struggling with this fiber junk. And uh, hey, if you want to see more of this project, hit that subscribe button. Click the bell so you're notified on all of my videos. There is a lot coming up this summer. I have so much going on. Thank you.